Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm just going to unpack the Hallett R6, a new little um, resin printer that's just been released by Creality. It's a smaller version than the normal ones they have, so let's get in and check how it goes. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and a like would be really wonderful and appreciated. Um, also, there are some affiliate links down underneath for Creality and Sunlu if you decide to buy some of them. Um, please feel free. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, we've got the Creely here. He's going to be my little fix up droid if anything goes wrong. I uh, just finished making him the other day um, with the eyes and stuff. Okay, let's open this guy up, see what's inside. <coughs> okay, first one's a little toolbox by the looks of it with all your bits in it. That's where your power cord comes in. We've got a scraper, a metal scraper, and a little box here. You won't have much in here. You've got a um, your O-ring set, a uh, USB, plastic scraper. You've got a, um, a filter bag. So what have we got? One, two, three little filters. So basically they look like this. You've got a little filter down the bottom, so it's really fine material. I don't know if you can see it up there you guys. There. In here. Yeah, so that's the um that's the fill when you tip and resin out. Catch any bits so it doesn't go into your to your resin when you're trying to save some. You've got a G2 box, 12 month license to Cheetah Box. Okay, so they're the um the slicing company that um, Creality uses if you don't want to use them and of course an instruction guide okay now I'm not going to um, actually demo it actually printing something because I know it prints well I've seen the prints but I bought this for a present for my daughter-in-law so um, that's going to go off to her and she can have a play with it so we're mainly here to see what's inside the box and compare the sizes to the Hallett Madge. Okay, so what else have we got in the box? Is there anything here? Is that just... Yeah, so this um, cardboard boxy thing here is just um, packing. There's nothing stuck inside it. Okay, so let's have a look. As you can see, it's nice and compact. Not a lot to it, it's really, really light too. So, just your normal little lid to protect your eyes when the um, ultraviolet light's going off. I just want to lift the board up without having to manually screw the whole thing up. We've got language. Just go in and you pick English or whatever area you are. And then it is international area. So I've got it all done. So it goes to next. Okay, so basically it's saying here that if you just click OK, it's going to raise the plate up. As you can see, it is raising the plate up. And from there I can get this little thing out of here and have a look what's in here. I don't think it's anything, I think it's just protecting the um, just the cardboard in a plastic bag. Yeah, so what they got in there is just this cardboard in a plastic bag to cushion it against the screen there. Get rid of that. Okay, a few things have made different here. I'll show you on the tray. This is a real good um, little size for not having to deal with massive amounts of resin and stuff. But they've made it really easy by putting these little pour handles or pour um, bits on the the, um, the well. It takes 400 milliliter, 410 mil of resin is the max. So they've got on both sides this little thing. Inside it's got your um, your measurement thing. So 410 is this top line and 200 is where this line is here so that's pretty cool 
Okay, let's get that back on. Let's have a look in here. So you can see in the tray there, it's got some nice little bits around the sides to be able to um, put it in properly. It's pretty fairly simple inside, there's not a lot to it. But that's what you want when you're starting out with um, resin printing here. Oh, yeah, all right, there we are. So, uh, oops, let's get that full. Okay, so I'll put that back on and just do up the two little bits at the side. Okay, what's it saying here? Okay, now it says to. After the platform rises, take out foam at the bottom platform and click confirm. Okay, so just asking now if um, I've taken out the, the bit out of the um, well there. Okay, that's just asking what network. So, oh, it's got a network up. Huh? That's pretty cool. Okay, so once you've got it connected to your network, it's just asking you to go back to home, which it does. Then we've got a print menu and a setup settings menu. So let's have a look at the settings. Check if it needs an upgrade. So what have we got in the settings you've got? You've got a cleaning. You've got Z axis movement. This is Wi-Fi. And you bind to the cloud there. So if you want to um, operate it for your phone. That's where you do it, and it should give you it gives you a barcode. So you just need to scan that, get into Corality Cloud on your phone, and scan that in, and it will um, link it up. Next, you've got um, printing parameters, where you can set all your printing parameters if you want. Um, usually, the default ones are fairly okay. Um, language and region, which we set up at the start, your time. Lapse photography, I didn't know it had a camera in it. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, so I can ignore that bit. What's hella box do? Hmm, it also mentions that camera. I, I don't think it's got a camera in it. I don't know, I have to have a look. Let's go over the internet. Oh, already at the latest version. Okay, so this one's if you want to download another computer and put the USB in. And this one's if you want to use the card inside here. Okay, so um, not a lot to change in there. So it's pretty much right. And when you go to print, it will ask you to find a model and then you say print from there. So the one thing you want to do is make sure that this bed is level. Now the way you level the bed, is you get those Allen keys that we have sent. I'm going to just use ones I've already got open so I don't have to open the ones I'm giving away. Okay, so, and these um, up here, on the side here, you've got these little um, screws here on each side. The top ones, not the bottom ones, the top ones here. And they're allowed to move. So what you want to do is you get it down, you level it on the bed here, and then you tighten those screws up. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. So, looks like a number three. Looks like a three number there. Oh, man, right. So it's a 3mm Allen key. That in there, so just undo that, undo that side. Do the same on the other side. Okay, so they're both loose, so it's all, it's all loose now. So I can go down. Okay. So what I've done is from the very first menu, you can see at the side you can change it up and down between screens. If you just push one, it'll go and it'll change the number. There's three screens you can go through. On the first screen, <coughs> you've got um, Z-axis. So there's a second one here. <coughs> and from there, you've got leveling. So we'll just go down to leveling. Okay. So that's going to come down. <coughs> This one's a stop button, and this one's a reset your settings button. So don't do this unless you've undone those screws, because if it's not quite level and you push it down, you're going to indent your screen, and that's the most expensive part of the laser. So what, the, what they've got, they've got some little lasers at the bottom shine through a little metal 
really shiny box and it imprints an image on this um, on the screen that's in the inside here there's a little LED screen and it puts an image in it and the light comes from the laser up through that that image and um, set some of the resin then it moves up a little bit and the image changes and it does the same thing again and it keeps doing it until your plates up here and you got a thing hanging off the bottom of it so while it's down here do up those little screws on the side that you undid so that's all nice and tight okay so now what's going to happen is when it goes to start off the print it's going to be dead level with the screen here and you're not going to get you know things not setting properly and when it um, sets it sets on the um, little board there let me raise this up okay so reset back the position will raise the board back up again okay so this is a printing plate this little metal bit here okay you have resin in this vat here as well and what happens is when this goes down it makes a pattern and sticks it to this plate and the plate moves up a bit and then it makes another pattern that sticks to the bit that's on the bottom here and it keeps going until each line creates a model for you that's pretty much it so the resin goes in here don't overfill it I, I never fill it right up to the top because if you have a little bump the resin is going to fall over and it's going to kill you kill your printer so just keep it a little bit from the top that 410 mark is a maximum don't go all the way to the maximum okay let's have a look at the plate so the plate comes off just by undoing this little screw up the top here so that's the size that you can have here's one I did on my Hallett Marge so it's a little um, uh, ratchet from um, Guns of Galaxy and as you can see it will print like so probably and that would have um, supports and stuff underneath it but you can see that is easily going to be fit um, printed on something like that now to, to um, compare it I've got a hullet marge down here but I will get the plate out of now and have a look okay so this is the difference in the plate so there's the hullet marge plate and here's the one from the R6 so you can see how much difference there is in the plate there okay up at the top here have a look you can see that's the difference in the plate so it's substantially smaller but it's cheaper and okay so that's pretty much it yeah so your resin goes in here this goes back up and you do the, the knob back up again should be all ready to go and then you put this over the top now it probably won't work if you don't have this on it because they've usually got switches on them somewhere that will tell whether that's on or not for a safety reason because there's UV light coming up through there you don't want to put it in your eyes okay so let me just get the marge up here so you can have a look at that size difference with the marge magic this is the marge behind us so that's the marge there and then this is the little bugger that comes up to this height so you can see so that's pretty much the size difference let me get this over the one side lined up okay so as you can see the size difference you've got a fair bit at the side here lots at the top so it's substantially smaller um, but it's really compact and, and quite good for people that only do uh, resin stuff every now and again which is um and I'll do probably two or three of these heads and that's that's the size of the head so you can see it in my hand so what I usually do is I do the heads and maybe the hands sometimes in resin um, and I do the bodies in filament mainly because resin costs more than filament does but resin is a lot more detailed and with resin um, the supports are so much easier to get off okay so, so they're not as you're not hacking at them with a pair of pliers trying to get them out you're snipping them with a pair of cutters just to snip them the top off so you get a lot more detail in your resin so that's why you want a resin printer thank you guys so that's a quick look at this little baby the r6 from creality brilliant little um cheap 
uh, introduction into resin if you want to give it a try and I highly recommend it um, for the details you can get in your models um, go, go give this one a look see um, it's only a 2k resolution uh, as opposed to an 8k resolution and this is the big guy but the resolution makes a difference with the plate size as well so the bigger the plate it doesn't matter about the resolution because you're spreading it over a bigger section so because it's such a small plate you don't need as high resolution but unless you're doing really detailed sting high quality detailed stuff this one is going to do you fine um, as opposed to I think this is about 800 and something Australian dollars I think this is about 219 Australian dollars I think it was so um, and it's supposed to be cheaper in America because uh, our tariffs and stuff are a bit nasty over here okay guys so if you liked um, please give us a thumbs up down down underneath and subscribe to the channel and uh, good old Creole here didn't have to do much but he will probably get involved a bit in some other videos coming up okay see you guys have a good one okay guys thanks for watching I really do appreciate the support you might like one of these or one of these <laughs> videos um, that I've made in the past so feel free <laughs> okay thanks guys bye